Hey guys, welcome back and we are playing Beyond the Wire today. This is kind of a different video where I talk a bit about myself and the games that I play and why I play them. I met someone in Beyond the Wire today and we kept on talking about these things and I think this is something uh, you guys also need to listen to. Hopefully uh, this video will help you out in buying the best game you want. These are strictly my personal opinions on these games and may differ from what you have in mind. So do let me know down in the comments about your thoughts and please enjoy. Holy shit! <laughs> he was right here. <laughs> A point blank sniper shot. Okay, we're we're too far in. Well done. I think we should be able to get a good sight from. Anyone? Yeah, I see one. Okay. Still alive. You watch the white flank. Get any in there? Yeah, I got one. I think there might be more. Wait, no, no, it's fine. It's one of ours. Yep, right. Seriously, this game needs more players. Yeah, I haven't played in months because of the low player base. Yeah. You know what well, time it cool is game. right now in my country? Uh, wait, where are you based? Uh, I'm in India right now. It's about 2 a.m. right now. I make uh, YouTube videos on this game, so I have to wait. Can night every night. Oh wow, yeah, probably that's, that's part of the job, right? That's the downside <laughs> of content creation. Yeah. Everyone comes around online around 12 a.m. Yeah, time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Shit. Do you at least take a nap before and then play, or do you go right through? Yeah, sometimes I uh, go to bed around 9 and get up about 2 a.m. and then go back to sleep around 4 a.m. Uh, is that at least uh, what you do, or do you have a day job that you have to get up for as well? Yep, I have a day job. Nine hours. Sucks. Good lord, you must be fucking tired. Yep. Shit, man. Well, I hope this stuff pans out for you. I really do. I hope so too. Uh, this is not the only game I play uh, post Krypton, I play Hell Loose, I also play uh, uh, Rising Storm 2. There are like 4 games I play majorly. We are about to reach uh, 1k subscribers right now. Hey man, that's awesome. Well, do you like Tarkov or uh, Hunt Show? Ooh. Yo, yo, I, I got a nice spot to uh, kill these Frenchies. Yeah. Got him. You were saying? I uh, just asking if you like playing uh, Escape from Tarkov or Hunt Showdown. Yep, I have Escape from Tarkov. Uh, the thing is, uh, I don't get enough time to. 
called uh, Escape from Tarkov because uh, it's it's a hard game, you know. Escape from Tarkov, full of PTSD. Yeah, it's very time consuming. Yep, very time consuming. In just to record uh, postscriptum and uh, hella lose, I have to record around like one hour of uh, gameplay and then I have to edit it. And editing about uh, takes about like two hours. And recording, let's say, uh, like two three hours every day. So it's like yeah, uh, that's rough. Yeah, I put up videos every day, every single day. Not like uh, two or three videos uh, in a week. I'm working really hard right now, just till I reach one uh, K subs. Do you want to try and do this full time? That's obviously the goal. Yep, that that's the uh, goal. But I'm making good money from the uh, day job, so it doesn't matter right now. Maybe after I reach a lot of subscribers, like a million subscribers, I make a hell lot of money from YouTube, uh, then maybe. Well, and it's hope that happens, everybody deserves to end a little slice of heaven, right? Yep. Seriously need to do some marketing on this game. I agree, definitely. If they can get some more content creators to sort of make more content of it. Yeah, even if they do make content, uh, I think they, uh, they need uh, servers too. Working servers. We have like three servers right now. Uh, I see. Okay. And lots saying. of uh, lots of sales on Steam, I think. Ah, shit, he got me. Yeah, they got me too. Not a great idea to be hopping into the trench with a sniper rifle. <laughs> go away, go away. <laughs> no, I got a bit too eager there. Yep. I have a few guys who uh, play this game. I mean, I made a few friends who also follow my YouTube channel. And it was a coincidence that I met them here. <laughs> oh well, so they followed you first and then you guys met. Yep. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's like uh, I watch uh, Aqua FPS because I, I like a lot of Tarkov videos. And there's also yeah. a bunch of people that I know. Yeah, I don't uh, talk that much right now in my videos because I have a really shitty mic. The one that you are listening to right now. Just my uh, Sennheiser headphone. So I'm trying to like saving up for an uh, expensive uh, mic. I might get it uh, soon next month. And then I'll be um, uh, videos where I talk. Yeah, that's always the thing. So you want to create content, you always have to get the right, not, not necessarily the most expensive, but the right gear. Yep. The game that I really want to play is uh, Hell Let Loose, but there's no servers on this side. Uh, Hell Let Loose, uh, Hell Let Loose is kind of a good game, but I think there's uh, only a few uh, servers where people actually talk. I mean, I prefer uh, talking to people and playing rather than just mindlessly going around and killing, getting dead. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I might be a, I might be a bit different. I don't mind just playing. You know, if, if I know the objective, I'll play it. But if someone wants to chat, that's also. Fine. Yeah, I mean, teamwork is better than uh, nothing yet. In PostScript, um, uh, most of the people in the community, they talk, they usually talk. But in uh, Headless Loose, in some random server, if you hop in, uh, you won't find people who talk. Yeah, and take team with everything if you're playing the objective. I do uh, record Headless Loose, but it's kind of scarce in my channel. It's mostly post This is still pretty cool, man. Uh, this is my sort of game. I'm not a Call of Duty fan anymore. That's all. You know, that's just yeah. play. 
And the thing is that uh, mostly people who love uh, hardcore games, they only uh, subscribe to my channel. So if I put something that is a uh, KD, let's say like uh, Enlisted or like uh, Battlefield, they, they don't like it. <laughs> Ooh, shit, shit, shit. I got him. Are you down? Yeah, no, I'm still here. I think I got him. I see their rally over here. Follow me. One guy coming up. Oh. Shit, I'm hit. One more. Hatching myself up. Yeah, they did with the SD market. This sort of hardcore gaming. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is, uh, I think, uh, in World War II genre, uh, Postscriptum is the, is the hardest game uh, in, uh, More realistic, I mean, it's based out of uh, SWAT, right? It's actually a mod for SWAT, which came out to be a separate game. Oh, uh, okay, I see. And it's, uh, it's much no, more, uh, it's much more intense uh, than squad, I think, because the combat is much more close quarter than uh, squad. Because in squad, uh, you have like uh, scopes, scopes and stuff to aim uh, way further out. But in postscriptum, it's just your iron sights and you. <laughs> So what would you say, Postscriptum or How Let Loose? Which one do you choose? Uh, I would choose Postscriptum, but the problem with uh, Postscriptum is that it's the same condition as this game. Uh, because there's just a few servers that are online, like uh, let's say 5 or 6 servers. A bit more than uh, what we have with the uh, game. Uh, for this game, I think there's just one server that is online. But uh, guy running in. Yeah, sorry, they they destroyed our um, rally point, so I had to start way at the back. No worries. Yeah, so what I was saying is, uh, you should get uh, if you're trying to buy something, then you should get uh, hella loose because it has more content right now and they constantly uh, put up uh, updates for it so does the postscriptum devs but it's just that postscriptum takes more time to uh, put up updates I mean their updates are much more polished uh, you'll get uh, really good optimization uh, you won't have any problems but with Hell Let Loose the problem is that uh, it's not very well optimized See, let's see. Yeah, they still need to optimize the Stalingrad map, the the Kirk's map. They have two Eastern Front maps that they uh, need. Nice. No. Oh. So if you want more content, if you want to have fun, uh, then LN Lose is the thing to go for. If you have some uh, more money, then probably buy <laughs> Postscript them. But wait for a sale for both the I'll games. Yeah, I'll definitely go and take a look at those ones. Damn it, this guy got <laughs> Ah, I don't mind the close one. Okay, once I die, I'll switch my rules. Take the take the sniper sniper roll. Uh, Josh, yeah, sure. sounds good.
Where are these guys coming from, though? Yeah, they have two rallies over there. Um, I'll fucking capture, let's go. Saw it there, not sure if it's still there. Just behind yeah, this, they keep uh, coming thing. from north. Yeah, they had it here. I think they they moved it. I'm just killing Frenchy uh, point blank with my uh, sniper. <laughs> this map is so weird. Right. Yeah, they pushed back uh, their rally way behind. A lot of them over here near me. What I think. Cool, I hear them. Oh, one. Oh, fuck, they got problem with uh, playing games uh, after getting back from work is that you don't, you're not like very uh, focused games like this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It does uh, sort of Kinda takes you out of it, you know. Yep. I think we are doing pretty good in this round. The other team seems to be uh, kind of stupid. <laughs> well, not not communicating. Yeah, exactly. That. The same problem that you have in uh, Hallelujah and uh, Post. Ah, oh, shit. I was playing uh, in this, uh, uh, in the recent, uh, there was a recent update uh, for this game. They added uh, tanks and shit. So I made a video, <laughs> it's kind of a funny video. We had so much fun in that, uh, that uh, game because there were a lot of people playing uh, at that time. Because the update had just dropped and everyone poured in and uh, so. How do you get to play with it? Uh, I think you have to spawn it at the base, then you can uh, use the tank. It's not like uh, in all the maps, it's only in, uh, in some select maps that you can play uh, with the tanks. And there's like two or three uh, crew members that go for each tank. Uh, that sounds like a lot of fun though. Yeah, if you're into immersion, I mean, if you're into more realism, I think you should get uh, postscriptum. If you if you want something more casual, uh, then you should go for Hallelujah. Yeah, I like a mixture of both. Sometimes I like realism, but like, um, you can say like Tarkov is on the verge of a bit too realist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I totally agree. It sort of takes the fun out of it. Yep. It does. I mean, uh, this game is kind of the middle ground, and also, uh, uh, also the other game that I play that is uh, Rising Storm 2. That's also kind of a mix of uh, realism and uh, casual. Um, yeah, this one like you can. Yeah, he got me. I got him. I headshot on him. Avenged my friend. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, with uh. uh I like that, you know, that, like with this one, is you can the respawn this point quickly. Yep, that's, that's the thing. Talk of. 
<laughs> Tarkov is like if you die, you lose everything. Yeah, it's just literally it become a bitch your gear. when you die. <laughs> that game makes me feel so bad about myself. Oh yeah, definitely. You feel like the worst game ever. <laughs> That's why I, no, I sneak a lot in that game. I just sneak around. Yeah, same here. I try to avoid all the pain that I come across. But somehow I end up dying. Even if I make it, I sometimes I make it with uh, really nice gear. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm at the extract point and someone is camping the extract. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Yeah, that's that's the worst. That's why I take it very slowly and I listen to everything. I'm a very paranoid player when it comes to Tarkov. I mean, that game takes a lot of uh, patience, which I don't have. Oh. Yeah, luckily I've, with a game like that, I do. I think it's when you come from a background of maybe like fast-paced gaming that might um, make you impatient. But um, with something like that, you can't rush it. Yep. For the Fatherland! We have a few people like <laughs> Wade and uh, Tiger who are actually German and play as Germans in uh, Postscript. <laughs> kind of funny. Yeah, it's always funny when the Germans play. You always hear them, you know, for the Fatherland. <laughs> I learned it from them. <laughs> For the Kaiser. That's Great it. shot. He was <laughs> he was leaning in. Captain. Got him. I actually get a lot of kill streaks in this game. I'm really good at uh, uh attack some rifles. I really suck at this game. Yeah, you get used to it. I mean, uh, the gun gunplay is much more fluid. It's it's not like uh, it's not too clunky. Uh, I feel like uh, Let Loose has much more clunkier uh, gameplay and gunplay. Uh, but but this game and uh, Post Cryptum Squad, these three games are very, very nice and very fluid. Yeah, it is. It is nice. It's just for me, it's hard to hit people. For some okay, you just, uh, I think you need to reduce the uh, uh, mouse sensitivity for a little bit. Just put it at uh, 0 0.5. I think. Okay, I'll try yeah. that out. Let's see. The default uh, setting is kind of fucked up. Too high. Yeah, I'm almost at uh, Delta. Two guys up. The capping Delta. Very nice. Yeah, crap. There was a game called uh, Heroes and Generals. It's a, it's a Danish game. You know about that game? Uh, I think I played it recently for some odd reason. It was a good game uh, way back when it released, but they really fucked it up. It was a really nice game. I started off uh, playing uh, World War II online shooters from that game. Then uh, they just fucked that game up. Now we have Unlisted, which is a free game. It's way better than that game. Uh, I've heard about Unlisted. It's like the War Thunder people, right? Yep, War Thunder. Same dude. That game. I got you. Yeah, I would like to try that. Yeah, it's a fun game. It's a good game. Very super casual. Actually.
just killed a guy. One more, one more. They're coming from the back. I see them. That's what she said. <laughs> There's more coming from uh, west. I should have used my rifle instead. Yeah, I'm very, I'm, I'm better with the, uh, with the uh, revolvers. Yeah. You Grab have a uh, like a variety of weapons, like the RSC, like the MP80, like the Natsen. Also, they just added, uh, I think, Hotchkiss the uh, game. You have Lewis gun. Lots of weapons. Yeah, you have to you have to sign in quickly because all the all the good ones get taken first, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. Also there is this thing they just added uh, you can see this thing claim XP. So if you click on that you can uh, you can use a kit that you buy with your XP points you have. So you can get like tank wares. They have just recently added tank wares in this game. If you if you buy uh, that kit, so that's what that is. Yeah, if you buy that kit with your XP that you just earned in the game, so you can use those cool guns. I just destroyed a tank in the last game I was playing uh, after the update. Just a tank wear, and I used to. Boy, a tank, it was so cool. They're in this uh, trench right here. They're in there. They're capping. One guy up there. <laughs> the melee combat in this game is just <laughs> out of the world. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, you just hit someone like go flying. <laughs> So if we don't take this section, do we lose the game? Uh, no, if we don't take this section, then they will uh, push us back to the previous section that we have right now. So once the uh, timer so runs out, like yeah, if the timer runs out uh, now, then we will win, because we have the most of the sectors captured. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, it's just Kind of the same as uh, LMU, I would say. 